What's up guys, Drew here. Welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. It's week 238 and we're talking about being paid to teach magic, paying for a magical education and you know, basically what our thoughts and our feelings are on that. And the prompt specifically says, does it make you a witch? Is it a scam? Is it okay? I think all of the above are applicable, right? Um, does being taught to be a witch make you a witch? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we all learn, you know, we buy a book and we read it and we learn something from it. We're paying for that information. Um, you know, I think a good deal of what makes you a witch is more about what's going on within you. You know, uh, no, that, no, no, no. A good deal of what makes you an effective, powerful witch has to do with what's going on within you. Are you doing your shadow work? Are you, you know, are you practicing? Are you honing your skills? Are you, you know, taking steps to become more energetically sensitive and so on and so forth. I mean, there are a lot of things and there are a lot of different ways to go about it. You know, there's not one way to find that. So if I take a year and a day course, for example, do I come out a witch? Possibly, probably but not necessarily. It's really going to depend on what I take from that experience, what I do with what I got from that experience. I just think if you're a witch, you're a witch, right? Whether you practice witchcraft or not, or whether you actively and knowingly practice witchcraft or not. Like, I just think it's, it's really complicated because I do feel like anybody could be a witch if they wanted at the same time. Um, because it's not necessarily, witchcraft is an art, it's a practice, it's not necessarily tied to someone's spirituality. It doesn't have to be, although it usually is, but it doesn't have to be. For example, the Lippy Witch, here on Starting Out Solitary, is atheist. So her witchcraft has nothing to do with spirituality at all. So you can choose to be a witch, um, but I also believe that's, that it's just something that's inherent in someone and they sort of discover it. Um, the things that we use as witches, I think, are extrasensory, for lack of a better word. So this sensitivity, you know, feeling energy and moving energy, um, I believe that everyone has that ability. Has They can do that should they choose to. Some people are more naturally adept to that kind of thing than others, but we can all do that. And... I do believe that it's important to learn. Um, I am a mystic, and so most of my stuff comes direct, and that's one way to go about it, but I still think that even with that, I needed to, and still need to, consult outside sources for various reasons. So I don't think there's anything wrong with paying for a magical education. Um, is it a fraud? Sometimes. Some people don't know what they're talking about, but they wanna make some money, so they're gonna pretend that they do. Or some people are not teaching properly and don't even don't even realize, you know, they're not. All of us are in different stages of our journey and have different understandings. Some are more adept than others. And so some are more worth the dollar. But for me, everything is like alchemy, right? There needs to be an equal exchange. So if I'm giving you all this hard earned knowledge that I've gained over, you know, decade or more, two decades, three decades, depending on who it is, um, of practice and of learning myself, absorbing information, and I'm just giving that to you, I deserve something in return. And if that's money, then it's money. So, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, I think it's okay to exchange money for information, for guidance and wisdom on a witchcraft path. But we should always look at who it is. I mean, uh, even with books, but particularly I think when it's one-on-one -on -one learning, check out their resume. Like how long have they been teaching? How many students have they had? Are those students satisfied? Um, what vibe do you get from the person? You know, uh, how old is that person? And I know that's not really fair. I don't feel like just because you're young, you don't have wisdom and experience, but I, I do. And just because you're older means that you're more wise and experienced. I mean, there's, exceptions to that but I do think in general that that's true if someone's only been practicing witchcraft for five years compared to someone who's been practicing for 40 years who's going to have more experience I think it just comes down to using common sense and making wise decisions with what you do with your dollar but I don't I I think that anyone who provides a service 
even on a spiritual level, deserves compensation for that and whatever that looks like. I do, however, think that oh, I can't afford to take a lot of classes and courses that I see offered. They are charging far too much. I understand they give a lot of their time and their energy and their resources and again, their wisdom and whatever, but I just can't afford it. I can't afford to take your class, so I'm not taking your class. <laughs> um, I guess it's up to each individual to decide. Do they think it's going to be a benefit? Is it worth it? Do they, can they afford it? Is it going to be an equal exchange? Is the money that you provide going to be equal to what you get out of it? And if it is, then I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching and until next time, much love and gratitude.